So let's uh, jump back into our save here. Um, going to probably play some RimWorld just for about an hour. Uh, and then maybe we'll skip back over to Overwatch to try to keep that gold climb going. Uh, so, last week when we last left our great heroes, we had set up a, uh, a turret down here in the south part of our of our base. Uh, and a turret up here in the north north part. I think we could put one more over here, which maybe we'll, what we'll try to do today. Um, kind of bump the speed up a little bit. We got five dudes in our group. We, we bought a couple of labs that hopefully we could start breeding and training. We do have a hare and a doe that at least mark the doe for slaughter. Let's mark the hare for slaughter. I guess we could probably train them first and then slaughter them. Boost our training skill. It seems to be we might want to do. Building a couple animal beds here. Something I don't know if I mentioned in a prior video. Uh, your doctors can treat your animals the same way they can treat people, but you need, instead of a medical bed for animals, you need a just a, a uh, animal bed. I don't know if the animal sleeping spot counts for medical stuff, so... Always a good idea to just make a few beds. Uh, it's still in the 50s outside, so we still have our heater on right here. Set to 70. Keep... The evening's a little comfortable. We have here poor shotgun, normal pistol. Who's armed? Philly's got the rifle, shotgun, nothing. Rifle, pistol. So we got some people that are that are armed. We got sandbags. We got turrets. This guy's shooting is at 11, 0, 1, 9. Wong is 4. Should be trying to hunt with Wan. Let's see what our work is set up to. Is Wan our hunter? Wong is our hunter right now. Let's hunt this raccoon. Wong will do that. We uh we've marked some steel. Looks like the last of the steel up here to mine. Oh yeah, with steel. Got almost 400 steel. We do need some more. Where can we get some more steel? Over here. Get this stuff. Mine. Built another solar panel. We got plenty of power. It's staying cold in our freezer, keeping our food preserved. Wong is, Wong is also a cook right here. Looks like he's making food. Harvesting some taters. There's a rhino. There's our body pit. All the raiders that have tried to take us out. These are harvestable. Berry bushes. Get those. Set the squirrel mark for hunting two cargo pods. Let's check this out. What do we got here? Dog leather. We'll take the leather. I think we're not currently making anything here. Could make some parkas. Let's leave this door open. Probably leave this door open and this door open. Just for efficiency's sake. Get that one open too. This little option down here, you can leave doors open as they someone passes through it. So now this one's always going to be open. You don't want to leave your freezer open, obviously. Just some of the inner doors. You can set to hold open. There you go, Wong is uh, finally hunting that raccoon. Gonna build his shooting. We started making weapons last video. We made a rifle. It was a good quality rifle, I think. A couple 
turrets. I think turrets do use a fair bit of power, so we, we set them up on power switches here to leave them turned off for now. We got, oh, let's see, an extra bed here for a sixth colonist if we get one, and we built our new prisoner room. So what do we want to do now? We want to get more steel. It's always good to have more steel. As you can see, we had to already rebuild one of our turrets when it because it got attacked. That's going to happen. Uh, and obviously, as you can tell, the resources here are finite. Um, there is a way to produce more steel. You'll notice around the map, you'll see things like this, like steel slag chunk. Uh, there's a building, or a workbench rather, under production electric smelter um, this allows you to make steel out of those slag chunks where are we at with blocks right now we've got seven more to make but we do have a ton we could probably start building walls here and figure out how we want to wall off our base we could make like a uh, an inner wall and an outer wall kind of thing we can leverage these two big masses and just build a wall between them. And then maybe another wall here. And here, over, over, once we get the steel out, or we can just include the steel. From here all the way over. Could start doing that. Should build, I think I want to at least build a wall here. And then put like a turret here. I think I want to do that. Where's our research at? What are we getting? Microelectronics? Still got a little ways to go with that. Although I think we set Wong to also research. If he can. Still making meals. Let's see. We can get geothermal power soon. We've got plenty of spots here. These little holes are the steam geysers where you can get geothermal power. We've got like four of those right around our base. Hunting those two animals, let's see, has put, put Wong's shooting skill up to 3,500 from maybe like 2,000. We can hunt these muffalo, get the wool. Those are good for making parkas. He also could use the meat. I don't know if uh, we want Wong to try to hunt one of these guys with a pistol. There's another squirrel. We can get him. Nayaka. Okay, so she can train those animals. She does have high enough skill to train the dogs. That'll get her animal skill up a little bit. This is another tip that we've sort of you've seen me use before. If you know, if you've set up your your work uh, values and you know you're thinking your your dude is able to do something, but but just for some reason they're not. A good way to, to figure out why they can't is to just select the person, and you can always force them to, to do something by right clicking on it and say prioritize this task. And if they can't do it, it'll say, cannot perform this task because, and it'll tell you why. So that's a good way to, 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 to sort of figure out uh, what's going wrong if, if you've if you set up your guys to do something and they're not doing it. Um, so that's a good tip. It's a good pro tip for you. No viewers yet. Uh, RimWorld seems to be a game that's gotten me more than Overwatch. Although with Overwatch, I'm sure the number of streamers is just... There's just so many. I think I saw, at least earlier today, RimWorld maybe had like 15, 20 total streamers, so... I think only one or two people had most of the viewers, so... A lot more opportunity there, I think. For a lowly streamer such as myself. Okay, I think I am going to build a wall right here. If you are joining me on YouTube, you can find my stream at twitch.tv slash late to game TV. Love to have you swing by the stream. 
So to build a wall now, I'm going to go to wall and we've made all these slate blocks. So now I can select slate wall. You see we have 860 slate blocks, so we got plenty here. And what I think I want to do is just... No, that's not going to work. Start with that. And then maybe we'll build like a, a turret just right here or what we'll do. We'll leave a gap here. And we'll try to make a uh, like a path that they that uh, our attackers will sort of walk down. We can put some traps in it. get to work on that wall there. Maybe we want to get one on the north side too. We want to leave the, uh, the turret outside the base. Make the wall up here. Up here, over here. I don't know. I do not know. We get some more steel here. To mine this out too. Like there's some behind there. Oh, I'm so happy to see those rising ships out. I uh, I gotta order mine. I think I'm gonna get the 3700X Ryzen 7. My stream quality up a little bit. I mean, my rig is okay right now, but uh, I I'm going to be upgraded. Oh, hello, viewers. Got a couple. Thanks for swinging by. Doing a little Rimworld beginner guide right now. Chopping these up and uh, throwing them up on YouTube. Got some turrets built. Lurk and nap. What's going on? All right, just trying to figure out what we want to do for walls here. Starting to put some up here on the uh, eastern side. We got five dudes right now. Nice to get a little more. We'll be playing Rimworld for the next hour or so and then switching over to Overwatch for the afternoon. Got that quest for gold. Debating on whether or not to send my dude over to hunt uh, these muffalo with a pistol. Want to get his shooting up a little bit, but that could be dangerous. Why not, right? Let's uh, YOLO it here. Just a 2% chance to attack uh, attack when harm from... Oh, chance is higher if closer. Less with good hunter stealth, so... Yeah, it could be trouble here. Here he comes. Meteorite, I wonder what... Okay, so this, this is another event that can happen. This is a good way to get uh, materials that you wouldn't otherwise get. Oh, Plasteel. This is awesome. We need this. Let's mark a couple squares of this. To mine. Let's see how Wong is doing uh, the Buffalo. Hit a couple times. Get that skill up, though. We do need the meat for the kibble for the doggies. I think I want to build like a chess table or something in my little rec room here. Oh, 
poker table might be cool. You need chairs for the poker table? Why not? Dining chair. Got the uh, smoke leak joints still going here. Set up our recreational use policy. Only allowed to smoke the doobies when they're uh, in a bad mood. Only when you're depressed is it okay to use drugs. That's what we're saying, basically. I do want to build another turret uh, on the right over here. Security turret. Let's put this guy right here. And let's add the power line. Go from here. Add a switch here. Probably get some more wood in a minute. Hey, what's going on, man? Welcome, doing a little RimWorld beginner guide here. Chopping these up for the uh, YouTube channel. Just built our card table. Wasn't sure if you needed chairs for the card table, for the poker table, rather. Never built one before. Got our third turret here in the east. Starting to build some fortifications, some walls around. I want to clear this wall out. I don't like this. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, uh... Well, I guess beginner is a relative term. I suck, but I've been playing for a little while. Uh, just thought I'd play for a little bit, chop up a guide, and uh, try to cover the basics. For uh, for new folks, it can be a little daunting when you're first starting out. So, you know, I, I've been playing um, since early access. I don't know, you know, I haven't followed the patch notes all that much, so I, I don't, I still don't know um, the changes that have been made to the AI. I think they. It's not as easier to route dudes down a down a lane anymore. I think they'll they'll just try to blow through your walls now. Um, yeah, of course I'm building everything in wood here, which can easily go up in flames. Yeah, I don't know how much longer um, I'll keep running through this series. I've never done the caravans before, so I think I want to try to try that out on stream and see how that goes. Never done any of the little missing uh, missions or the quests that that pop up. That could be fun. All right, let's get the rest of those muffalo, maybe. Having our dude hunt those with a pistol to try to boost his shooting. Probably not a good idea, but... Uh, we'll see how that goes. Take the speed up a bit. Wong's playing poker with himself. Hmm. He's got a pair of aces there. Muffalo Revenge. Hey, what did I tell you? What's this guy's health at? Death in 12 hours. Weekend. Moving is poor. I wonder if... I wonder if this will be okay. Oh. Wong is fleeing the scene. He can easily get away now. Let's 
get him inside. At least I think his shooting is getting up there, though. We're at a five now. Trying to get our defenses up a little bit. Oh. Don't go back out there. Is he going to attack our other guys? Oh, what the hell? There we go. Just going to go after any person that it sees, I guess. That's good to know. There you go. All right, let's build another layer of our wall here. to get some more people. They used to have like 10. And then Buffalo Revenge. <laughs> Make some parkas out of that. Who needs treatment? Wong, what are you doing? Just a bruise. He'll be alright. Love to tame that rhinoceros. Let's see where she's at with her animal uh, training. Quest to buy those cobras. That'd be pretty sweet. To have an army of cobras. I haven't normally done too much with animals in this game. I think people breed big, big herds of things to use for defensive purposes, or just farming meat. Man, they, they can really eat you at a house and home. Kibble's probably the best thing to make for them, I, I think. You could make them fine meals, lavish meals. If you're an animal lover. See how hurt Wong got. He's not bad. We'll shake it off. Raid! Time to test out our turrets. Where are they coming from? Bows. Got three bows. I didn't see if they were attacking right away or not. Hmm. Well, probably going to come up here. So let's... Let's turn on that turret. Uh, let's get Philly. Pierce can't shoot for shit, but we should still get him out there to train. Long's hurt. Let's get Vaughn. Get these three dudes. And we need her to... Switch on that turret. Yeah, they're attacking right away. They're going to be out of the turret range. Coming this way. Let's see here. Vaughn. Who's got the other rifle? Billy? Pierce has the shotgun. Let's put Pierce there. There we go. I've really tried out bows and spears and stuff. Um, I wonder if that's really worth it. Oh, yeah. Any of our guys hurt? No. Do we want any of these people minor of 10? Oh, man, this guy looks good. 
15 medical, 12 plants. Optimus, that's good. And if she just gets hurt, we can capture her. And our dudes got hit. Billy? Bleeding, got a cut to his left arm. Not really behind the uh, sandbag, I don't think. Ugh, alright. This guy's not worth taking either. Do they have any good gear? No. Tribal wear. Go back about your business. But maybe we can take some of these weaponries. And sell them. Gotta get these bodies out of here, too. This guy will just bleed out. 